You're watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. At the age of like 14, we came home one day, seeing that all of our belongings were on the street. The first place I slept was at a donut place. He never complained about anything. Not having the money to buy things that the other kids in school had. He just knew it was all going to work out. The worst part is not having a family. It wasn't something that he wanted people to know. He just acted like everything was fine. He's had a troubled past. I mean, but That's fashion designer Nari Manavong in the documentary Dressed. He's gone, as you saw there, from homeless teen here in Columbus to successful New York City fashion designer, and he is back for Columbus Fashion Week. Nari, welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be back home. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. And, and home is a special word for you in Columbus because it disappeared for a little while. It did. We saw a little bit there about how it happened, but what was that like as a teenager? Uh, you know, it was something, it was a new experience for me. It was just never, it was an unexpected thing, and uh, you just know, didn't know how to handle it. Right. But. So at any given moment, it could happen really to anybody, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So battling that, having that up against you, um, where does the fashion inspiration come from when you're a, a homeless teenager? I mean, just coming from the street and not having clothes and you know I came and flipped through a magazine and the first magazine was Vogue magazine and I was just inspired by a lot of clothes, the um, ad campaigns and went to the secondhand shops and and just like you know what I want to dress like these guys in the magazine and did that. Huh. So. When you were when you were on the street, you were part of a gang, and I mean everybody looks at that and thinks you know that's this overbearing sort of macho kind of thing. Right. And then your inspiration into fashion was sort of contrary to that. Right. How difficult were those two things to to put together? Um, you know what, like you know, growing on the street and hanging out with gangs and stuff, it was just really there for us. It was right. like, you know that environment. You know, we grew up in a really um, um, urban, low-income housing, mm -hmm. and it just, that's what we knew. Right. And that's how we g grew up into it. And from there, after I discovered, like, Vogue magazine, it just really changed my whole... It was an escape. It was an escape. You know, it, it brought, like, a little bit more happiness for me. It was right. a little bit more to disguise, and I was able to change that and create something, you know, I truly fell in love with. And create a career with it. Wow. Did you have to have any um, technical training for that or you just kind of fell into it? I fell into it. You know, yeah. after uh, discovering that magazine, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to the library and I got books on sketching. I got books on wow. how to sew and I did it all on my own. And wow. being, you know, I self-taught everything about being a designer. And I took that and went to New York and knew that and then network a lot. Yeah. And here and are. here you are. And here I am, yeah. Let's bring Amy in. Uh -huh. Amy is Amy is a model who is, this is one of your designs. Yeah, this is a new collection from the spring 2014. Um, this is a uh, silk um, cotton uh, raffia from Italy. Yeah. And wow. this is a cutout uh, dress in a mint color. That, that is wow. very pretty. And huh. so when, when, when you, at this point, in New York City, mm -hmm. find yourself up against all of those names that people see daily in the stores. What is it like to be able to put something up against them? Um, you know, you appreciate the moment. Um, mm -hmm. You take it all in because, you know, um, these are designers. They've gone through the same um, stages as well. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning from them. Um, I read about their experience and I feel like, you know, it helps me gain this opportunity. So again, you know, I take those um, knowledge and I build out of it and, and grow into um, a business. That's great. Now you're the featured designer for Fashion Week coming up this mm -hmm. week. And uh, what have you found from the actual style groups here in Columbus? Do you find that same level as you see in New York City? There's a lot of talents here in, in Columbus. Uh -huh. um, you know, you get CCAD and Ohio State here. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, and I was able to meet a few um, just the last few days. And um, they just need to develop and they're going to grow. and I think if they keep um, learning their craft uh -huh. and learning who and what they're designing for, they'll be really successful with it. It just they just take the step. Right. Do you feel like an inspiration to the folks who will follow you? Is that too big a mantle? Uh, you know, um, I just try to give them a lesson that I learned, yeah. and if that inspired them, I'm honored. Uh -huh. 
-huh. And that's a, you know, I'm, I'm humbled by, you know, people that really think that I'm an inspiration to them. Yes. Mary Menavong, we appreciate your yeah, time this morning. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You so much. Thank you. Best of luck. Absolutely. Thank Amy, thank you too. Thank you. Now go get a sweater. You have to be freezing. <laughs> <laughs> We put a link on the website. It's to Columbus Fashion Week. Go to myfox28columbus.com. Click on news links and you'll see it right there. There you go. All right.